Hey there guys, what's up? It's your buddy Mike Pierre here and I hope you have a great day because for today we are now at episode 4 of our Let's Play Minecraft 1.14.3 Hardcore series. So now we're just prepping up this platform on the top of our hostel mob farm as mentioned from the previous episode. We are going to build our trading hall <laughs> here and I'm just trying to level this at least we can work easily, right? But anyway, so well, uh, we are now at Minecraft 1.14.3 version as mentioned from the previous episodes. Uh, we are just waiting for this version version in order for us to have the proper village mechanics so at least we can uh, we can make sure that everything will run smoothly in the long term and also a couple of hours ago we now have our optifine which is totally good right i mean we also have these shaders in our videos i mean in our game <laughs> which is during the last episode of icraft half of the video has shaders and half of it is just default which is somehow not really too consistent but anyway so well <laughs> i guess that's fine right but anyway so well we're also gonna try to search for uh, some un un unemployed villagers in other locations as what I know well we cannot give a villager another professions once uh, he or she or it <laughs> uh, has a previous one so definitely uh, we cannot make uh, use of our villagers in the taiga village that we have nearby so well and we also haven't explored yet much on the northern part of this map so hopefully well we can find some villagers that we are going to need for this trading hall right but anyway so well that's the plan for this episode and without further ado let's get started so now let's try to abduct some villagers, I mean uh, recruit some villagers to our new city in the new Hyperion city but anyway so well yeah so well basically I think we have been here uh, in the coral reef biome but not on this land we haven't yet landed on this well, we haven't explored this area yet but anyway so well hopefully we can find the villagers that we are going to need right well not so far yet I think I can spot some village right over there well yeah but i think this is still landlocked though but well but anyways let's check it out well i didn't know that this village can actually generate some stables well this is the first time i saw a stable in a village which is kind of good and they got like a white horse right over here which is well uh, uh. <laughs> This is kind of weird though, but basically, well, this is not our objective for this exploration, but probably, well, let's just get back to this, right? So I went back here in the seaside because I think it's for the best if we're going to have some sort of like that village over there, which is actually close to the sea. So at least we can move the villagers to, uh, I mean, easily <laughs> to our base. So probably, well... Of course, I think this is a better village to abduct some villagers. I mean, uh, recruit some villagers. <laughs> but anyway, so well, let's check it out. And this villager just stole my bed though. And it's getting night time. And hopefully, well, the zombie will not spawn. <laughs> right? <laughs> he agrees with me. But anyway, so let's try to like uh, put this guy into the boat. But basically, I think we still need to <laughs> uh, sleep. Uh, find a bed to sleep on well I should probably because I'm just afraid I'm just scared that I will hit that villager though but anyway so let's try to find some uh, beds and all of this I think this village has a lot of villagers that all of the beds are actually occupied and they have no beds for those two other villagers I think so right well <laughs> it's getting night time though uh, oh come on guys give me some bed <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, probably. Well, I should just. This is. Yeah, this is just a working area. But probably, well, I'm just going to steal that bed from that villager. And, well, uh, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I can see a lot of villagers are doesn't have any beds, though. But I'm not sure if that's actually good or not. But. Yeah, all of the beds are actually occupied though. Wait, let us check. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm not sure if actually the village mechanics is, uh, has been fixed though. I mean, this village has actually spawned a lot of villagers. Uh, let's try, I think, on the upper part. No, yeah, no bed over here. <laughs> but yeah, but anyways... Uh, let me just try to figure out on how we're gonna turn this night on. We got some loot right over here. But probably, 
yeah, I'm just gonna steal the bed from that villager and tomorrow, well, gonna try to move and I can see some... What? <laughs> now we got a zombie, so let me try to steal this. Uh, no, we're on a hardcore mode. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight you, zombie. <laughs> let me just try to sleep over here. And yeah. Well, there's a... Please, please. <laughs> Turn the night on. Ah, let me fight the zombie. Uh, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> uh, but anyways. Uh, this is quite an adventure though. Uh, hmm. I uh, can see. Well, it's already the daytime and there's a creeper. <laughs> uh, stay away from me. No, 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 no. Stay away. <laughs> But anyway, so well, let me try to get a villager and let's go back to our base and well, that's the next thing to, uh, that's, that's the next right thing to do, right? But anyway, so I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this uh, zombie though. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be back. And now we got two villagers in our base. So basically, of course, later on, we're gonna start to breed them after we have built our, of course, trading hall on this platform right over here. But basically, we still need to do some resource gathering in the nether because I'm planning to use some nether bricks and some glowstone. So basically, well, let's get into the nether. And so now it's time to hit the nether for us to gather some more of those stuff that we could use for our build and well let's get right into this and well let's get to the nether fortress to gather some nether bricks and some glowstones all around this nether. <laughs> Anyways let's get into this. So far, I guess we have gathered enough. Well, I doubt it so. <laughs> but anyway, so well, just in case uh, this stuff doesn't actually, you know, sufficient in our build. Well, we can go back here anytime, right? But anyway, so well, let's go back to our base. And of course, we are going to start our building session. And so now I guess it's time to start to build our trading hall but probably well there's gonna be a lot of things that will gonna happen for this and I think if I'm going to make this some sort of like you know a talking episode for <laughs> for making this build probably it will take very long so well for the best I guess I'm gonna do this again in the form of a montage just to speed things up and probably at least you can get a glimpse on how we are actually building this so well oops uh, let's uh, reverse this so probably of course uh, you'll get a glimpse on how we are going to do this but most of the time well we already have done a lot of building sessions so you already know my style so let's put this bill right over here as a mark of the center of this trading hall and of course this is very necessary for our village mechanics right so the first thing that we are going to do is of course the floorings and then afterwards we are going to build the walls but probably for the meantime let's just start 
building or placing the floorings and i'll be back and one thing that i totally forgot is that we are going to need a bunch of wool in order for us to make some beds for our villagers in order for them to breed right but anyway so well basically i need to do this from time to time while we're doing our build and of course <laughs> we're gonna need a bunch of this and hopefully well it will be enough but after this of course i'm gonna try to resume building and yeah i totally forgot about the grasses though i think we also need to well uh, <laughs> let me out though but anyway so well i think we also need to move some of these grass blocks on the side so at least we can have those grasses continuously you know spreading out so at least uh these ship can actually replenish their walls and probably of course well after this i promise you guys we're gonna start building again but anyway so well i'll be back <laughs> from up there actually these guys try to jump and escape from our trading hall but yeah well i think we'll just let these guys be in their boat so at least they will not go anywhere right i'm not sure why they're trying to escape but i'm promising them something like a nice place to stay in right <laughs> but anyway so well i also have done some of the parts of the flooring here well i've just noticed all of the villagers were actually gone but they actually just jumped to the waters but anyway so well so far here's how it looks like so well we got some sort of like these nice patterns in our flooring but i'm not sure on how we are going to lay this out but probably of course later on we're gonna start planning on where we are going to put the beds probably on this lower part i think and on the other side we are going to have the working stations but well that's for us to decide probably later and so we already have done these floorings right over here so basically we have some sort of like those patterns which is looking pretty nice right i mean well so far it's kind of random but well i just made it up but anyway so well on this area right over here we are going to have the beds for our librarians and probably on this side right over here this is where we are going to put the lecterns for our librarians and on the other side right over here is where we are going to have the farmers so we have some farm plus here and as well as of course the beds for our farmers and on this side right over here is gonna be the mason so probably we're also gonna be, uh, play some beds and probably some also uh also some clerics uh and as well as some beds on this side so i think that layout is fine for our trading hall and probably on the center right over here this is where we are going to have some sort of like a dining hall for our villagers of course they also need to eat right well <laughs> imaginary but anyway so well uh also we're um, now it's time to build the walls on the side especially that we have to keep them protected and as well as they do we don't want them to jump outside this building right especially well i don't know why they have some sort of like those intentions to jump over the edges but anyway so well course we are also going to place some pillars and as well as some roof on the top part that's where we are going to use the nether bricks and the glowstone so at least we can have this building more aesthetically pleasing and as well as of course we are going to do this in the form of a time lapse and let's do it
it's all like what I expected. Well, we have gathered too little of these nether bricks in this nether. Well, probably, of course, well, we just need to gather more of this in order for us to finish the build, at least for the session that we wanted to finish. But I also think that we are not going to be able to uh finish actually the build probably i'm just gonna leave the second dome because we're planning to put like two domes <laughs> for these trading halls so probably we'll just gonna do the topmost dome uh on a live stream but for this episode we'll just gonna try to at least protect those villagers so at least we can already start you know trading with them but anyway so well we'll just gonna need a couple of this and we're gonna be back and these two weird skeletons are trying to sneak on us though but anyway so well at least i already have spotted them and yeah but anyway so well at least we're pretty safe and after this well i think i already have gathered the uh, enough <laughs> uh nether bricks but anyway so well let's get back to our montage And well, I guess we're done. Well, actually half done because we still need to put up a dome on the top part, but probably that's gonna be on the next live stream. But let's uh, uh let's make sure first that we have a proper lighting in this area, so at least the mobs will not spawn, right? But anyway, so let's try to go down. Uh, yeah, this is actually going up. <laughs> let's get to the other side. But anyway, so now it's time to place the beds, the lecterns, and all of those stuff, so at least we can start the villagers to breed them. And well, yeah, probably I also should put some chapters there but anyway so well last couple of things before we end this episode and i'll be back and finally we already got some beds for our trading halls for our villagers to sleep on and of course for them to breed and also for these lecterns for our librarians of course we'll definitely gonna need a bunch of librarians in order for us to find a bending guy right but anyways of course uh, we also got this farm plus for our farmers so at least we can also trade with them we got four farmers for the meantime but for the masons and for the clerics probably we're gonna have that for the future but we actually got one stone cutter here but this is actually for our personal use right but anyway, so I guess we're done for the meantime for this setup and let's uh, try to oops, <laughs> I know the going down elevator is over here But anyway, so well, let's get the two villagers up here So at least we can already start breeding and so far I think the villager mechanics is now working We got one villager right over here, but this one I'm not sure why he's not you know <laughs> Turned into something but this one of course we still need to unlock the trace in order for us to find a mending guy But well, I'm not sure why the why we only got one villager right over here of course uh, let's also give them some bread for them to start breeding and hopefully they will have some you know <laughs> some kids soon but anyway so i guess well we have done a lot for this episode and especially that of course we still need to put up a dome on the top part but anyway so i guess i guess well we're done for this episode but anyway so well thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed wait a moment well I heard the kid though. <laughs> yeah, I guess they already have started breeding. Where, where's that kid? Where's that kid though? Huh. <laughs> yeah, let me fix my view. Okay. Uh, yeah, there it goes. So now we got a villager. So basically, well, <laughs> it's a success, right? So this villager already start breeding and probably off cam, I'm also gonna wait for these guys to breed more and of course to repopulate this village. But anyway, so well, <laughs> I have to say this. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment. Please leave a like and make sure to subscribe. This has been Mike Capirian and I'll see you guys next time.